folks, my name is Andre and today we're going to do this in Collective Infusion. Like you can see, I'm changing the color of the skin of my character. In order to make this, I'm using the replace color function of Collective Infusion. There are some pros and cons on using this feature. The pro is the fact that you can choose the color to change. The cons are, this feature is very color sensitive and works well on flat colors. So, anti-aliasing is very bad. It loses infos on the original color. So, there's no way to reset everything. And the most important thing is that that if the new color is going to be something like the color of another part of the body, when you change it, you're going to change everything. Let me explain this a little bit. If I'm going to change the color of the shirt from red to blue, like the jeans one, next time I'm going to change the blue, I'm going to affect both jeans and the shirt. And this isn't very handy, makes it quite useless. All I have on my editor is the character, a color preview, a color hue, and a cursor or a picker. Before I start, I need to know exactly what the value values of my skin are. This because the first time I'm going to change the color, I need to know exactly what the values are. So I'm going to use a variable on my character, current color. Here I'm going to store the current color of the skin. So now let's jump on the event editor. Here I put already some events, they are just to move the cursor on the hue color. And now let's make this happen. I'm putting on a start of frame event, and here I'm setting the current color to get RGB, and inside I'm going to put the values of the skin. Then I'm putting another event, repeat when the left mouse is clicked, and I'm going to negate it. Under the player active, I'm going to animation replace color. Here I'm going to choose calculation, and the color to be replaced is going to be the current color. I'm going to get the new color by using the RGB add on the U color. On the X position and Y position, I'm going to put X position of the picker minus X left of the color U, Y position of the picker minus the Y top of the color U. Last but not least I'm going to set the current color to the same RGB ad. So just copy the formula and paste it. It's going to be well. Now let's see if it's working. It's working. You're done. Leave a like and subscribe.